Hey everybody, it's Laura again, your financial coach, preparing you financially for adoption and fertility. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about your money date guidelines because I so vital as you are preparing on this journey. When you have your weekly money date, you're getting together, it's just the two of you, and you're using your notes throughout the week to be able to dissipate any contention that might be occurring. Um, about how your spouse is spending their money. And um, in the link, um, you'll be able to see the agenda that you guys can go over. And because at first it might be a little uncomfortable and you're like, well, that's kind of a weird conversation that we need to have. But the agenda will help you know what to say and what you need to plan for during the week. And that agenda We'll talk about your meal planning so that you're not overspending on your food budget. That's huge. That is probably the number one place that I see my clients have major leakage. So if you are struggling with money going out the door, then definitely talk about that at the beginning of the week. If you need to do some meal planning, I have a couple of links. Um, there's an email going out this month about different ways that you can save money on food. And if you haven't already signed up for that, you can do that as well. I'll show the link here and just below. So um, definitely addressing your food issues this week and being able to say, okay, where's the money going? Let's do some meal planning. Make sure that's on the agenda. Um, talking about your specific goals that you want to accomplish this week, this month, and the next six months, and the next 12 months. And saying, okay, wh what direction do we need to go? What do we need to do to accomplish that? And the agenda will help you stay on track with those things. During your money date, I want you to make sure that you're staying on time. Respect each other's time. If you say, okay, we're going to do this for 30 minutes, we're going to do this for an hour, then stay on it. Stay on track. And if the discussion needs to happen longer than an hour, I want you to table it and talk about it next week because you need to be respectful for each other's time. Also, if it's happening longer than an hour, uh, there could be some contention that might arise, um, maybe some pushback that you're happening from your spouse. And you need to step back and say, okay, why are we feeling this way? What are some things that we need to address? Um, in our love and money sessions, we talk about those emotions, we talk about how to address them and what you can do to resolve them. So if you are having that pushback, definitely make sure you schedule the love and money session. It's five weeks where we talk about the emotions, how to resolve the conflict. Also during your money day, I want you to make sure that you're staying positive and recognizing the gratitude that you have for the spouse, focusing on the things that they do right. If you focus on the negative, that's when the contention can arise and will stop you from progressing and, and being able to reach a goal. You know, when couples work together as a team, they accomplish so much more than individually. So for, for your next tips, stay tuned for your next video.